Hello and welcome back to American Monkey's Alice Let's Play. Uh, we're going to be going through stage 15 today, which, um, hey, guess what colour it's going to be? Oh yes, brown. <sighs> oh look, it's our favourite people. What's this? Oh, it's a big mountainous ball of crap. No, it's a marble. If you've not worked out already, guess what this one involves. Yup. Run! This is actually not hard in the slightest, because I've, I've never actually had it crush me. I don't think it's a very tricky platforming section, to be perfectly honest. Considering what they put you through, like, already, when you've got marble after you, it's not that hard. Um, well, I'm here. I'm not sure I fully explained, uh... The functions of this during the Duchess boss fight. The uh, function one is just a grenade, like it like spins and explodes. Whereas you saw the function two, which was the flamethrower. So, just in case I missed it out a bit. Boing. Boing. Tricky stuff. For some magical reason, it manages to make it over. Don't know how. And we're now inside a giant rib cage. That bit down there? We're going down there. So... I think we get a new weapon on this stage. I think it's this stage anyway. I'm not sure if it falls into another stage as you do it. I can't remember. But we'll see. Okay. Bye. Alright, skid our way along here. Down we go. I guess it's a different stage. But it, that was way too short for a video, so I might as well do this one as well. Icy reception. I'll give you a clue what the stage is about. And it's not brown. Plus point. I think we've run out of brown now. We have blue! I can see again. It's colour. Admittedly, even blue, all blue, is better than brown. So... Three stages of brown, that's just not cool. Right. Uh, it's, it's very slippy slidey. Uh, if you've ever played the um, any game with ice in it before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Which means, is that a jump I have to make? Yep. Ooh. Oh, we're not sliding on this one. It must be this te this texture device. Yeah, it, it likes doing that sort of stuff to you. And apparent, um, what I found out my first few play... Damn it. My first few uh, playthroughs of this... Is those falling like um, bits of crap or whatever they are? I'll try and show you. If you're too close to where they drop, even without getting hit, they kill you. Oh, well, it didn't work, but. Wise, wise words. And one of the better weapons in the game. Oh, yes, it's the ice rod. Primary function does that. It eats an awful lot of um, magic, if you look at the side. That's pretty harsh. And we've got an ice wall function as well, if I try and show you this. With the right click. Which, to be honest, isn't that useful. It might it blocks a few um, attacks, but a lot of them have like splash damage, which goes straight through the um, ice barrier. Which means it's not that useful, to be honest. But that's not all we got it for. We got it for wrecking shit. And it's awesome. No, don't fall for the ice, right. Now we jump across here. Guess what's back? It's the marble! I don't know where it came from. But it does a, like, a gravity-defined leap. And, oh, sorry for that MSN sound, I should have turned that off. Um, again, this isn't, this isn't exactly tricky either. La 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 la. Oh, no more slippy slidey ice. See if I can make a wall to stop it, eh? Do Go away. Ah! You know, I would say to watch, but I'm getting attacked. Ah! 
Oh, one shot kill with a knife. Cool. We are now out of the deep blue blue area into some really cool fiery area looking thing. I think there's even lava down there. There is. And guess what? It's not brown either. It's in fact red. I don't think I've ever seen so many colours. It's brilliant. Another jack in the box. Yeah, in, I presume in case you missed the first one. I've never got it. Because this doesn't power up either. So I'm not sure what that's actually for. Oh, for the curious, the ice uh, wand is actually on number 5. So, I can quickly select it that way. I'll try and attack an enemy with it as well, but there's nothing down here to attack. More shrooms. And guess who that is? severely damaged. You must set things right, that's why. I barely recognize this terrible place. What is it to me? It's home. Well, it could be. Having lost what you loved, you nearly wiped us out. You've started to rebuild. Your task, however, and your pain are not over. Why must I suffer? Because your mind is fouled by self-deception. Even your fantasies have fragmented into tortured versions of themselves. You are racked with guilt because you survived. And you dread the prospect of a life alone. What do you think I must do? Destroy the Queen of Hearts. Wonderland and your entire world can become whole again. I need to rest now. You need to regain your human size. Grow up, Alice. Embrace the truth. Travel to the fungiferous forest, now, and nibble from the mushroom of life. Take great care. The voracious centipede jealously guards it and rules over what you require. And we've reached the end of the stage. And big major plot point was revealed there for those who haven't actually worked it out yet. I don't think I need to explain it to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's getting less brown from now on. Till next time.